Pal, uh, I'm getting awfully skittish on the Indian thing because I get any contact, the burnt child red the fire, and any contact I have on it, I'm misunderstood. I'm in, by implication committed to underwrite the famine, or by implication committed to give them 10 million uh, tons, or by implication committed to do it all between now and 1st of May, or by implication this. Then I get 14 memos from everybody in the government. It starts with Bowles, and then it goes to the state, and then it goes to every Indian lover in town, and then it goes to all the do good columnists, and then the agriculture, and then Bob Comer, and then Bundy, and so on and so forth. Now, I don't do it that way, and that makes me immediately, just to save myself, I feel kind of like they're getting ready to rob my bank. I have to put up the bars and close the doors. And and uh, wait till it all dies down or until I uh, can get it started. Now, what I'm going to tell Nehru today is very simple. I'm not going to make any big commitments, and I'm not going to underwrite anything. I'm going to say to him today just what I said a long time ago. I'm waiting to see what kind of a foreign policy we can have with your people. I just want to see what it's not going to be a one-way deal. I'm not going to just underwrite uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, perpetuation of uh, the the government of India and the people of India to have them spend all their goddamn time uh, to dedicating their, themselves to the destruction of the people of the United States and the government of the United States.